are at a super cool outdoor skating rink. It's like a rink through the forest. I've never done this, but I've always wanted to. So, yeah. That's the entrance over here. This is like a small skating area. There's also some little like um, bonfires over there. This is the area where we're gonna do some teaching to a friend because one of our friends has not, has never learned how to skate. So that's what's on the plan for today. Ooh. Ozzy, this is your first time putting skates on. Do you want me to do them up for you? This is Wazzy Skates, take one. stayed behind to continue learning so we're just gonna take one lap of the like skating forest thing just to get a feel for what it is but oh so beautiful I've always wanted to do something like this and I mean I love skating I was a figure skater I don't know if you guys know that but I was a figure skater um so skating is definitely my happy place I love it quite a lot okay my hands are so gonna go we just finished up skating and we ordered some hot chocolate and beaver tails because um they have a little like concession stand um, and beaver tails are just like fried dough with chocolate and one has like cinnamon and cinnamon and what? Cinnamon. And sugar. And the other one has like a cinnamon sugar topping but we ordered that and then we're just gonna eat those, drink our hot chocolates and head home. I'm very cold, my toes are absolutely frozen but it was the best time ever. Hello everyone, I am just getting ready and I am back home. In a minute, I will sit down with you and tell you a little bit about my trip to Ottawa, which was so, so lovely. Um, but I'm just finishing to get ready. I still don't have all my jewelry on. Um, so I just got my coffee um, and I wanted to show you, actually, just cause it's in front of me, I just put it on. But this is a NARS lip gloss. This is the Afterglow Lip Shine in the shade Nympho and it's got to be one of the most beautiful shades. I actually really like the texture of this lip gloss. It's not um, sticky. It almost has kind of like a lip oil feel to it and the color is just this like kind of like a nude brown color and it is just it's so beautiful it looks so natural on the lips while still being um a little bit glossy which i mean i'm like a gloss lover but yeah if you're looking for any gloss highly 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 recommend this one it's awesome <laughs> i wanted to start getting ready i still have no rings i have been absolutely loving these two rings from missouri i think these are the soft charlotte collection um, have been like the two rings that I just always put on you will always kind of see me wearing these because They're just so beautiful. I've also really been loving. So this is a ring actually from I showed you this I don't know was it a few weeks ago? Um, but this is one of the their stacker rings So it's just a really simple kind of gold band and um, and I like wearing that stacked with my eternity line band Ring so it just creates a really really pretty stacked look um, and then of course my three favorites, which are my ceramic rings. I, these were some of the first rings I ever got from Missouri. Um, I don't think they're available anymore, but, um, I just wear them every single day because they're so pretty. I wear a lot of white. Um, so the fact that the ceramic is white on them looks really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, that's my rings today. And now I gotta show you some new pieces, which I'm so excited. Nothing excites me more than some new Missouri pieces. I'm already wearing a couple of them because, well, I couldn't help myself. And before I show you them, um, this is actually an integrated paid for partnership with Missouri, which as always, I'm so happy to work with Missouri. I really, really do love their pieces. Um, I'm actually really upset because I lost one of my sphere studs in Ottawa and it breaks my heart. It really, 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 really breaks my heart. So if you have them and you bought them, um, I'm happy for you and please enjoy them because I lost mine and I'm so sad because I don't I think they're not available anymore um, but anyways let me show you some new pieces so we're gonna start with the beautiful this is the piece de resistance and this is the piece that inspired um, this little shopping haul of mine the first piece that I'm gonna show you is actually two pieces but 
Um, this is Missouri's newest launch and it's the beautiful beaded cushion pendant. So this particular pendant um, right here does come in three colors. So you've got a white topaz, a pink topaz, and I picked the cognac quartz because well if you've been um, watching some of my content and what I've been buying you will know that I've developed a huge love for yellow and golden tones and um, I just it I feel like it's such a beautiful happy joyous color and I just I'm happy to incorporate so much more of it into my wardrobe so the moment I saw this little pendant it was just the most perfect addition to my collection and because it is just the pendant on its own I decided to pair it with the curb chain um, necklace and I obviously have various Missouri necklaces that I could have paired it with. Because the pendant itself it kind of gave me like Baroque feels, I wanted to pick a chain that was kind of going to play off of those um, details. And so I picked the curb chain necklace. Um, this is one of the shorter lengths, which is perfect. I really wanted the pendant to really just sit um, a little bit higher on my neck. Um, not quite a choker, but obviously not like too far down. Um, and so I just oh, I fell in love, but let me put it on so I can show you So this is the necklace on and I just I love it so much This is the type of necklace that I would just wear all on its own. It's so beautiful and so special Oh, I really really do love it and um, I think you guys will love it as well um, Obviously myself. I love to dress up, but I also love to be very casual like today I'm just wearing like a really comfy oversized white shirt and I feel like this type of jewelry really makes you feel like you've dressed up. It just makes an outfit feel very special. Um, and so, yeah, so that's the first kind of two pieces that I got. And being true to myself, I, of course, had to get the matching bracelet. I did this with the um, baby box chain line. When I bought the bracelet, I went ahead and also got the necklace because I loved having that, like, beautiful matching set. And so, um, the next thing that I got is actually the matching bracelet. So this is the Curb Chain Bracelet, and I've actually paired it with my Baby Box Chain, which is one of my absolute favorite um, bracelets. This type of bracelet would also make the most beautiful gift. It's such a versatile piece. You can wear it pretty much with anything and everything. I like to live in my jewelry, um, so for many of my bracelets, once I put them on, I don't really take them off. Um, very rarely will I swap out my bracelets. Like, as you can see, this herringbone bracelet has been on my wrist since the day I got it and it has not left my wrist <laughs> because I just, I never take it off. Um, anyways, the last thing I wanted to show you from Missouri is a set of earrings that is, in my opinion, quite unlike Missouri. And I've never seen anyone actually talk about these earrings, but I think they are an underdog in the entire Missouri collection. These are the beautiful earrings that I got, and these are the gemstone ear jacket studs. Um, and as you can see, it is two gemstones kind of stacked on top of each other, um, and one of them actually matches the, um, the pendant perfectly, which is why when I saw it, I knew it was gonna be a perfect match. Um, but I have never seen this style of earring before. In fact, I will take it off so I can show you the full design of these earrings because I think it's so cool and I just the moment I saw them I absolutely fell in love so these are the earrings here and as you can see it's composed of two gemstone and then you have the larger gemstone that will kind of dangle in behind your ear to create this beautiful stacked look and the moment I saw this design I just I fell in love I think it's so unique um, it's again, it's a twist on a classic style, which I love. I'm always looking for styles that are classic and, you know, will be very timeless, but also a little bit modern. I still love some modern pieces here and there. If you are someone who doesn't necessarily love a colored gemstone, these also come in a white topaz, which is such a beautiful look. And again, you could also match it to your um, gemstone pendant if you wanted to create a very wholesome look. Um, but again, I would highly highly recommend checking these out because they're absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm going to put my earring back on, so one second. <laughs> I've got my earrings back on and I'm feeling very beautiful. So anyways, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed all of these pieces. I think they're so beautiful and I hope you guys love them as much as I love them because 
Um, I just I've been wearing them kind of every day since I got them and I've been really really excited to share these pieces with you um, But as always I will leave everything linked in the description box for you And don't forget that you'll be able to receive a 10% off your first order by shopping through my link Which is so so exciting everything will be down there for you to check out um, And yeah, I'm pretty much just about done getting ready and then we can go chat and I can tell you some stories about my Ottawa trip but before I do so, I'm gonna go put on a fragrance because I've got a new fragrance to show you. I don't know, I actually can't remember if I've shown you it before, but you're gonna see it again. So if you've already seen it, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is the Smythe fragrance. I hope I'm saying that right. I should ask the ladies next time I'm in. But Smythe is actually a Canadian women-owned company, which I'm so excited to say. Um, and I actually, funnily, although they're Canadian, I discovered them on Farfetch. Um, and it was a brand that I kind of always had my eye on and was always curious about. And then all of a sudden, I saw a creator in Toronto who got invited to their store opening. I was very upset that I didn't get a, um, uh, an invitation. But that's okay. Um, anyway, so it was thanks to this creator getting invited to the store that I actually learned that they had opened their first brick and mortar um, location in Toronto and I went. I spent a ton of money buying some gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. And as I was leaving, I actually, I, I hope I haven't told you guys this story already because if not, I'm gonna look insane. But as I was leaving, I they had like, their room spray and fragrance in their in their dressing room. And of course, I'm such like a, a fragrance junkie that I was like, I smelled it and whatever. And I realized that the scent was actually what was sprayed throughout the store. And this, the scent of the store really, really caught my attention when I first walked in. Um, but oftentimes, stores don't necessarily use the fragrance that they sell as their like um, air freshener. So I didn't bother asking or anything. And as soon as I smelled it, I absolutely loved it. Um, this is truly such a gorgeous scent. So anyways, I left the store without it. Um, and I just sprayed it on my arm because with fragrances, it's really, really important to actually test it out on your own skin. Um, because fragrances can really evolve on your skin depending on your pH. Um, and so it's always really important to actually try a fragrance on your skin, let it sit for a while before you buy it. At least that's what I always do. And so anyways, I put it on my wrist, I left the store, I went home, and I was thinking about this fragrance the whole way home. Um, and I got home and every time I would like fix my hair, I would smell this fragrance on my wrist and I was like, oh my God, it's gorgeous. I love it. I need it in my life. And so I bought it that same day. I went back and I bought the fragrance and um, yeah, it's a very long winded explanation. Anyways, this is the Smythe fragrance. Um, I've had it for no longer than a month and that is how much I've used because I use it every single day i like shower in it it's so beautiful it's so sophisticated um it's unisex it's anyone can use it it's a beautiful beautiful fresh sophisticated fragrance which i absolutely love it's a little bit woody um i believe it's got sandalwood in it um and for me honestly if anything has sandalwood in it there's like a 90 percent chance that i'm gonna love it so i'm gonna put this fragrance on Oh, so good. I love it. It's amazing. Couldn't recommend this fragrance enough. It's so underrated. I've never smelled anything like it. And I respect um, fragrances that you just can't compare to anything else because nothing else exists like it. Um, so if you're looking for a really unique, beautiful fragrance, Smythe. Check it out. I'll link it in the description box for you. I think a lot of you will really love this fragrance. So yeah, that's that. But anyways, I'm gonna relocate to a comfier, cozier spot so we can chat and I can tell you a little bit about my trip because I had an amazing time. All right, I'm sat here in my comfy chair just drinking some coffee. So, a little recap. I visited, I think I told you, but I was in Ottawa visiting some friends. Really just having a nice weekend with people that I love and make me happy. And so anyways, we were in Ottawa. It was really, really interesting because um, there was a lot of protests going on. And I guess we chose a rather poor time to visit Ottawa because there were checkpoints throughout the city. Um, the entire downtown core was completely blocked off. Um, I didn't see any protesters. There weren't, um, they had a quite a large area blocked off and the protesters were really just in the, um, kind of the heart of Ottawa. So again, I didn't see any of them. 
um, but it made it really really hard to actually do anything in the city because a lot of shops were closed um, We couldn't skate on the canal. We really really wanted to skate on the Rideau Canal um, Which I haven't done since I was a young kid. So I was really really looking forward to that um, But you know what? I think everything happens for a reason because um, After trying to go skate at the canal and a pond and that didn't work out either we ended up this beautiful forest um, skating trail and I have always wanted to do that. Um, for years and years and years, I have always wanted to skate in a forest trail and that's kind of the last footage from Ottawa that you saw. And I just, I will um, leave a link to the place that we visited because if you're looking for a really amazing thing to do whilst in Ottawa, I would highly, highly recommend it because it was just so beautiful we had such an amazing time um they had fires there and we got some beaver tails and um some hot chocolate on the ride back it was just fantastic and i believe it was like 40 minutes from like ottawa so such a great location um yeah i truly couldn't recommend it enough i can't quite remember the name of it but i will i will be sure to link it um down in the description box for you guys but yeah that was just a little recap we had lots of fun catching up and um just spending some really nice quality time we also went to mont tremblant and skied which was a ton of fun as well it was family day weekend um, obviously so it was quite busy but still absolutely beautiful and just so much fun so yeah that's a little recap of my Ottawa trip I think it was lots of fun and yeah it was just really nice but um, today is a very very boring day for me I'm doing lots of editing um, lots of emails lots of admin I feel like it's a perfect work for such a gross day today it's very overcast but um, yeah Anyways, I think I'm going to wrap the vlog up here because I think it's going to be a long enough vlog. Um, but anyways, I've got so many new things to show you in next vlog, which I'm very, very excited for. So anyways, keep an eye out for that video because there's going to be lots of great things in that video. Trust me. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here and I hope you guys enjoyed this so, so much. I also hope you are all doing so well um, and doing well in life. But um, yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.